Hey family, listen, with my last video, um, I know I apologize for this about two times, but I want to apologize again, okay, I apologize for the poor sound quality, okay, um, but I still wanted to put that video out there, but what I'm going to do real quick, I'm just going to go back, um, and speak on certain things that I feel that was very important in that video because I know many of you were struggling as far as trying to um, figure out what your sister was saying, okay? But at the end of the day, the point that I was trying to make in the last video, um, I was just basically, you know, trying to put out there that how it's important for us to be balanced when it comes to trying to tune in to one's intuition. You know, um, we're all so gun home gonna hold on what I think you know oh I think this or I think that you know um you know a lot of times what we think is not always what it is let me just say that I mean some people you know they're just good at guessing all right so that's all that is it's just guessing but anyway um it's good to tune in what you feel and what you're doing you're relying on what this on the inside is telling you that's the point i was really i really was trying to make okay and you know some people even though they try to tune in they still don't get it right because you have to realize there must be balance when it comes to energy okay our emotions shouldn't be scattered all right that's especially if you're someone that's you know um you know your emotions are all over the place um you know, due to worrying, um, fear-based, um, upset, okay, um, just with scattered energy, period, it's hard to tune in, that's the point I'm trying to make, there must be balance, okay, mind, body, and spirit, there must be balance, and we all definitely need, definitely, you know, need to be in our heart space, um, when we're trying to tune in, um, the heart center, and the heart, you know, and the spirit and the body must be in tune, okay? Um, when we're not balanced, it's hard to really tune in, especially when you're going through something and you're seeking answers. It's like, you know, inside, the inside is trying to give you those answers, but due to scattered energy and, and emotionally, you are all over the place, okay? You're going to start going from what you feel and you're going to start relying on this. Well, I know what I'm sensing, but I think, you know, you start relying on the I think factor instead of what you're feeling on the inside, okay? But when you are balanced, whole and centered, you know, you can tune in better. And plus, when you're not so distracted as well, that's why I tell many of you, go somewhere quiet. Go somewhere real quiet to where, you know, you can hear that still voice or whatever the spirit is nudging at you, okay? And I don't care how foolish it may seem, there's nothing foolish about spiritual things. To the carnal, spiritual things are foolish, but we know better. The spirit's always trying to get something to us, but we can't be distracted. You can't tune in when you when you are distracted. You can't tune in when you are emotionally all over the place, okay? That's just the point I was just trying to make with that video. And um, as I stated, there must be balance. Um, so that just a little nugget that I was trying to convey to my brothers and sisters, how we need to stop trying to be more in tune with the spirit, the divine that is within you. It ain't going to steer you wrong. Please know that. Okay? It has never steered me wrong, to be honest with you. At the end of the other day, looking back on my past, you know, back over my life, shall I say, um, I knew what, what my problem was. I, I wasn't listening listening to my intuition, okay? And that's a lot of many of you as well. You're not listening to that still voice, you know, something that's nudging you, telling you, mm-mm, don't go that way. Mm-mm, leave that person alone. Mm-mm, don't go to the right, go to the left. You know, mm-mm, this ain't the right time. You know, we, all, we, we, we just overlook it. You overlook, but I was trying to, you know, analyze uh, what you're feeling, you know, and trying to make sense of it and... Instead, well, let me just say this. Instead of just tuning in and just going by what you feel, you know, we're always trying to just think think our way out of what we're feeling. That's really 
pretty much what it is. You know, I know it's been that way for me in the past, but now I don't do that. You know, I, I don't care what the spirit telling me. Uh, yes, I obey. Okay, I obey the spirit. And I move accordingly to the spirit. And this is what helps me to navigate out here as well as inwardly. Now, real quick, my son had came to me um, last night. He's 22 years old. You know, we were real close. Uh, some, of my people, some people might say, oh, he's mama's boy. But that's okay, honey. Uh, my son, very wise, and he has ears to hear. So, um, and it's going to take him far. Let me just say that. Because he's taking all the information in and he's applying it. And it keeps him from running his feet to evil. Let me just say that. But anyway, he had asked me, because, you know, he, he's, he's trying to find his own way, and he's doing a lot of research, and he said, you know, um, you know, I be hearing you online, you know, I, I was watching some video on YouTube, and this man, he was saying that, don't open your third eye, you know, it's evil, it's evil, you know, that's, that's evil to open your third eye, should nobody try to open your third eye? Now, my son is grown, and I don't tell him what to do, he has the right to think how he wants to think. But I let him know my opinion. There's nothing evil about the, the third eye. Okay? The Most High God doesn't make mistakes. We are all are uniquely and wonderfully made. Okay? There's no mistakes when it comes to Most High God children. The way he has made us. It's really up for us to accept the way we are. And to love ourselves the way we are. Okay? Just being authentic the way we are. But I know it's hard. I know it's hard. Okay? okay? It was hard for me in the past. Now I'm trying to learn to just love myself the way I am. And if I can love myself the way I am, I will attract that that I am. I let him know my opinion. There's nothing evil about the third eye. The Most High God made you just perfectly the way you are. Everybody has a penile gland, okay? If, if it was so evil, the Most High God would not have put that in, a, in our head, shall I say. Um, at the end of the day, knowledge is powerful. Knowledge is ongoing. There's nothing new under the sun when it comes to knowledge, but it can be hidden and kept from the masses, okay? The way I see it, when a person is low vibrational and not in their heart space, and this on the inside switch on, okay, it's going to not only magnify that that you are, okay, but it's, it's also a reflection of that that you are on the inside, not outside of you, but on the inside, okay. It can also show you a reflection of that which you are drawn to, okay? Watching a lot of negative stuff. It comes back to you on the inside. It will meet you on the inside. Your eye gate, what you see. Your ear gate, what you hear, okay? All, this will, all of this will meet you on the inside. That's why in the word, it say, think of thoughts that are honest, pure, and true. When you go within yourself. And not only that, when you go within yourself, think of thoughts that are honest, pure, honest, pure and true out here also, okay? Everything's like a mirror, a mirror reflection back at you. Okay, well, what, what, you, what you decide to focus on out here and constantly set your attention on, it's going to meet you on the inside. Let me just say that. You might not see exactly that image, okay, but you're going to see something else that's not so nice. It's going to meet you on the inside, okay? At the end of the day, when it comes to our spiritual sight, okay, it can really be a blessing. It can take you places. You have this sense of knowing, okay, and it can guide you. Not only on the inside of you, but out, out here as well, because you connect it to source. All right, that switch is turned on. All right, so you can tune in and receive. Okay, from the spirit realm, and you're receiving messages from your guides, your angels, your ancestors. The Most High God brought His staff. Okay, the family of the light, the light beings. You're receiving information. People look at it as evil because maybe, and I have to say this, a lot of people have not had an experience as far as their spiritual sight being turned on. So they go back what other people say, especially people who have had a bad experience, and they take that and they run with it. Yes, in the, in the beginning, I had a bad experience, but maybe you watch my videos going back, you would know why I had a bad experience, and I had explained why I had a bad experience. At the end of the day, it starts with me and it ends with me. God is in me. God is in within all of us, okay? It's what part of God you want to experience, all right? That flow is constantly flowing, darkness and, and light, but there must be balance. What part of source do you want to experience? For me, I was low vibrational. 
for me, I watched a lot of horror movies. I watched a lot of negative th- uh, negative movies that slash and the killing. I was getting off on that kind of stuff, you know. Um, I, I like action movies and there's a row of action movies, but we still gotta be mindful of, of what's going in our eye gate. And I used to get off on that, you know, the Jason killing movies, you know, the slashing, uh, Kruger. You know what I'm talking about, family? Um, watching these uh, horror movies and all that. I was into that kind of stuff, okay. And watching these movies with uh, people uh, bringing in, uh, what you call it, um, Ouija boys in their home and having all these experiences. I used to get off on that kind of stuff. I'm just keeping it real with you. But I stopped watching that kind of stuff, okay? At the end of the day, I was a little vibrational. I wasn't in my heart space at the time. And then I was going through something with my daughter's father and it had me kind of bitter. Make a long story short, I wasn't in a good place spiritually. And then when it switched on, in a time when I thought not, I didn't even know what it was about, to tell you the truth. I had to do my, my homework and, and start uh, searching, you know, what, what is this? What's going on with me? But the fact that I wasn't in a good place vibrationally, I went inside myself. That which I was met me on the inside, okay? Like the, most high, like the most high God says in the word, how great is that darkness within you, okay? If that darkness is so great within you, even when this switch on, that's all you're gonna see is darkness. All you're gonna see is chaos. All you're gonna see is a lot of what you don't like, a lot of a lot of what you don't want. But out here, you, you're fine with it out here. But then when you go inside, you got a problem, okay? You're pretty much attracting that that you are, okay? You got a lot of chaos inside of you. But one thing, maybe you can't see it because you're not turned on on the inside, okay? That spiritual switch is not turned on. But once it turned on, and you go, and you go from being low vibrational to raising, increasing your vibration, well, you can see what's going on around you, okay? And that which is low vibrational, it can't go to a certain dimension, okay? When you start to rise up, you rise up in frequency, and when you go through yourself, you're able to rise up in dimensions. That which is low vibrational, okay? Whether it be entities, uh, low vibrational um, spirits, uh, disembodied spirits, it can't rise up like that. It has to stay at a certain level. Okay, it doesn't have the authority, the power to rise up because it's low vibrational. Everything's, everything's due to energy and frequency. But once you're able to expand your light on the inside by operating, letting love be your guide, being your heart space, expanding your heart chakra, okay, you light up on the inside. You're able to see your way around on the inside. When this right here is on, it won't be so cloudy, you'll be, you be able to see more clearly. Okay, and a host of other things. Everybody's different. Let me just say that everybody's different now. You know, I, I'm really speaking from my experience. That's all I can do. But a lot of people can relate because their spiritual sight is turned on also. But a lot of people see the third eye is evil because, for one thing, a lot of people rely on what people say that has had the experience and they focus on the negative instead of the positive. A lot of people's experiences are still negative because they have not renewed their mind, start thinking more positive. Okay, now we're working on your heart chakra, work on forgiveness, which is for you. It's helping you to heal. Okay, a lot of people don't want to put the work in. Okay, you must put the work in, master yourself. We're coming here to master ourselves and get back to our God like state. Okay, for God is in all of us. Okay, the kingdom is within all of us, but you can't get to it if, you, if, if you're not rising up. When, when you're down here, vibrationally, you're not going to be able to see the things that others, others are able to see that are high vibrational. Okay? Especially if this switch is, is not on. If this switch is not on, you're going to know that you look vibrational. You're going to know your, your, your situation by uh, what's going on in your life. Okay? Whether it's negative or positive. You would know, but you can do something about that family. Anyway, the point I'm trying to make is there's nothing evil or negative about the third eye, okay? It's, it is within all of us. It's a penile gland. A lot of people, it's calcified, but if, if they want it um, it to awaken, pray about it, okay? And there, are, and there are things that you can do to awaken it, okay? You can go on YouTube. They have um, these tones that you can listen to to help it. You can sun gaze to help it. There are ways, you know, to um, get that switch to turn on. But all I ask people to do is, because I didn't know this then, I, I, I didn't even know anything about all of this stuff, you know, what, seven years ago, but I speak on what I know now. All I ask people to do is get in your heart space, okay? Um, 
so you will have good experiences, okay? You draw good things to you. And one of the good, one of the good things about when your spiritual sight awaken and you're in your heart space, okay, and you're seeing good things, having good experiences, you're able to see future events also. And you will see them a couple of days before they happen. But you will see the stuff being played out. You might not know what it is, but yes, you see, you see a little bit of everything. Places you've never seen before. Places you, that you didn't even, even know they existed, okay? You will see these things. You will see the hidden things. Because see, the spark of God light is inside of you. And by it being expanded, you're still in darkness. But you're seen in the darkness. That's that's, that's the thing right there. You're still in darkness, but you're now seen in the darkness because you're in a lamp on the inside has expanded. Okay? Now, I don't think I went over anybody's head. A lot of this, in a way, to me, is common sense. I try to break it down to where, you know, you can uh, understand it. And even if many of you, your spiritual sight is not awakened, you know, um, you know how it is when you dream. You know, you're able to see images when you dream. Okay? Well, it's pretty much similar to when you are in meditation and you're seeing images while you're in meditation. Um, at the end of the day, you still must get still in order to receive the downloads, to receive the messages, okay? Um, you can't be distracted. You got to quiet the mind, tell the mind to shut up and just be like a student. You know, you, you're here to receive, you're here to learn, you know, uh, when I'm in meditation, I'm like, you know, I'm centering myself to receive, okay? And I am, you know, in a p place of observing, okay? I'm observing. That's what, I'm, that's what I do. And things that I remember, I write it down because that's, that's information that you need to know. Write down what you see. Colors, write the colors down. Numbers, write the numbers down. Images, write them down to the best of your abilities or what you can't remember, okay? It's something to it. So anyway... Um, I'm not telling many of you, many of you going to end up, you know, eventually, you know, uh, being psychic or being this or being that. At the end of the day, it's a spiritual muscle. And um, what's for you is, is for you, family. We are all uniquely and wonderfully made. Glory to the Most High God. And at the end of the day, you know, the way we live our life, you know, it's either, you know, we're walking in love or we're not. Okay. We're either walking in a straight path. Okay, that's pretty much not not running your feet to evil, or we're not. We're in the wide path, the way the path that's fun, and you know, uh, you like to be distracted. And when you and you know, like I know, when you really real distracted, you can't see it coming. You can't see it coming. Okay, destruction. Okay, when the enemy is plotting, putting holes. Uh, let me just say, when the enemy is sabotaging and putting stumbling blocks before you, you can't see it coming when you're in the wide path because wide path have you all like, hey, ho, it have you all distracted and you can't see it coming. That's why the straight path, you're constantly on alert. You're constantly on guard, all right? And you know what to do. In the wide path, you're not trying to get centered and tuned in because you're not able to because you have a lot of scattered energy going on. You know, you're emotionally all over the place. You must be still. Let the word say, be still and know that I am God. God is within you. God is within me. But you must be still. So you can know how to navigate so you'll know what to do. And a lot of us are too caught up. Okay? It's hard for us to get still. It's hard for us to hear that still voice. Okay? It's hard for us to tune in so we know how to navigate out here. But it's nothing evil about the third eye. Everybody has it in their head, okay? The Most High God does not make any mistakes. At the end of the day, it's what you do with what you have, okay? Use for good or you don't use for good. And if you don't use for good, let me just say this. Uh, when it comes to, you know, um, karma, it will bite you in the ass. Let me just say that. And it will, and it will really bite you when you go within yourself because you ain't going to like what you see, all right? But it's you. It's you. All you got to do is just change. Do something about it. All right? Start renewing the mind. Get in your heart space. Rise up. Okay? And if you feel like, oh, uh, you know, things are not changing as quickly as I would like for, for them to, do some mirror work. Start loving it on yourself. Do some mirror work. Say, I love myself. I forgive myself. Visualize all those that have hurt you in the past. See them in your mind's eye. Say, I love you. I forgive you. I thank you for the lesson. That's it, family. And you would know when it's working because when it crosses your mind, it's not going to bother you anymore. You're not going to think negative thoughts about that individual, okay? 
your heart is not going to uh, be uh, like uh, the point I'm trying to make is you're not going to feel bitter about the individual. If anything, you see the person with love because it was a lesson you needed to learn. And the most important lesson was to love yourself. Okay? But you were in their life for a reason as well. Don't think that they have not learned a lesson with you also. And if they haven't, well, they're going to constantly go in the, the merry-go-round until they get it right. All right? But you don't worry about them. You worry about you. Okay? It's about you. All right? And you trying to evolve spiritually so you can get to the next level. Okay? It's always been about you. Let me just say that. So I love you. I appreciate you. I thank you for your love, supporting my channel. If anybody, I know I have a backup channel called Awaken Butterfly Reading. That's pretty much the logo. I have another pretty logo. It's blue. But this is one of my merch. All right. And for those who have been supporting me, because uh, y'all know I on this channel, I, I don't monetize anymore. But my backup channel, I do. But for those who want the merch, check out my community section. Just scroll and you will see the pictures. And just click on it and you will see the um, site. Okay. Um. I love you. I appreciate you. And I'm only speaking to those who are able-bodied, too. I know everybody's money can be funny, but everybody's not hurting. And please know that. I know this to be true. Everybody's not hurting. I'm only seeing if it's in your power to support your sister. All right? But other than that, I love you regardless. I'm just sowing seeds of love. But as I stated, many of you know I do readings on the side. So if you'd like to request a reading, just email me at qmccwest at gmail.com. Always email me first. Before you make a payment, payments are through PayPal or Cash App. So, um, other than that, you know, I'm here just sowing seeds of love. All right, I'm giving back because it's not about me. Uh, at the end of the day, we have a gift. It is to share it, not hold on to it. That that's not what it's all about. It, it is about being of service to our brothers and sisters, and um, to help each other. It's, it's kind of like when people are like uh, the way I look at it. When I see my people. Like uh, brothers and sisters, like on the ground, I, w I want to reach out and just pull them up. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, come on, come on, come on, let's go, let's go. You know, pull them up. You know, that's how I look at it. Cause somebody pulled me up. Let me just say that I relate to a lot of people on YouTube, and I'm grateful to them, and um, they really helped me to see things for what it is, as far as what was going on with me. And I am forever grateful to them. So, um, yes, indeed. So, I love you. I'm through talking. There's nothing evil about the third eye. At the end of the day, get in your heart space, raise your vibration, renew your mind, um, to do some work, okay, to operate in forgiveness. You're going to be just fine. When you go within yourself, you're going to see good things. You're going to have a good experiences. And, um, wow, if, it's so much I want to say, but you have to have your own experience, okay? My walk is my walk. Your walk is your truth, okay? Much love to you, family. Bye. I'm calling y'all butterflies also. I got a, I got a channel, Waking Butterfly Reading. I call them my butterflies, but you're my first love, so you're my butterflies as well, okay? We don't think like a caterpillar anymore, all right? A caterpillar and a butterfly, it's two different things. Let me just say that. Peace and bye for now.